Why hello? <laughs> what is up everybody? Thank you for hopping in back onto this little channel. Today we are doing the fifth part. We are almost done with this damn green series. I don't know if you can guess what we might be doing, but uh, today we are doing a collage with old art. We're making something new out of something old. Breathing new life into an art piece. You know what I mean? This collage will be my own character instead of doing it like a known character. This is going to be a shorter video, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Come on. Hello, my juicy friends. So I'm starting off with this uh, backing to a picture frame. I have a lot of these hanging around, and I like to put my collages on them because they're pretty good boards. And then I'm gessoing it. I like to mix them some blue with some black. It has a nice gray blue that makes colors pop. Let me tell you, it makes the reds and it makes the yellows just pop like no other. Highly recommend if you want something other than white to start with. Now, some of these are older drawings. Some of these are really new. Um, some of these are just like scraps of like nothing. But I like to use them because, you know me, I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I don't like to throw nothing away. So this is what I chose um, to cut up. And I did add a little more extra because I was uh, I was feeling a little, you know, funky. I'll, I'll show you here in a second. Just like most of my collages, I don't really have a plan when I'm doing them. I like to work with the flow because I feel like I get more of an organic creativeness out of it. And I wanted to use as many scraps as possible because, like I said, I'm a hoarder. I have so many of these laying around. So I ended up going with, like, this bug alien type thing i wanted to make it green obviously because we're, it's a green series what else am i gonna do but what was i gonna do with the body that was the that was the struggle that's what got me going a little bit so i decided to go for a more heavy approach um this is based on my body so keep your body comments to yourself I'm using Mod Pods to paste all the areas down. Uh, once I liked where the positions was, I kind of outlined it as you can see here. I used white chalk. I think I used a white chalk pencil. Those are amazing to you know get a good layout and plus they brush away really easily. So once I had everything firmly grasped, I thought, let's add a little flair to it. So let's make some eyeballs, some uh, nipals, if you know what I mean. I also added an eyeball in the uh, belly, belly button because I thought it was juicy. I also, I forgot to film this, but I went in with some oil pastels on top of the uh, collage pieces because they weren't really that cohesive. So as you can see, there's a little bit more depth to all of them, a little bit more realism because some of them weren't the cutest. And now I'm going in with some oil paint. The outline was acrylic paint just to get it on, just slap something quick on. But I went in with oil paint to do all the coloring in and shading because I feel like I get more of a vibrancy, especially with the gesso and the contrast. And anyways, the body is where I had the most trouble. Uh, I didn't like how it was turning out. It looked a little too cartoony. And the body and then the face, it just didn't look cohesive. It didn't look that cute. Um, so this is just me filling in the body really quick, just some, with some green paint. I did a quick uh, pink background because that's kind of the that's kind of the whole theme I'm doing is like green character, pink background, just to have them all united, if that makes sense. But once I was done with the the pink background, I was like, okay, this is not really cutting the cake. So I decided to do uh, these lines. I used to do these all the time, and I'm like, it used to save some of my art pieces. I thought it added a little cool flair. I went in with some yellow, some lilac, and uh, orange and blue, or like a teal blue. And I thought it really adds some depth, so I put that in the face as well with some uh, circles. I tried to do lines in the face. It just made it look a little weird. But this is what it ended up looking like. It's all done. It's all juicy. Here it is, all done, very juicy. Mm. I hope I don't get flagged for this. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. I love doing collages and using old artwork to make something new. Um, damn, this is so creepy. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something new. And I hope it inspires you to turn something old into something new. Like this. We have one more art piece to finish off this green series. The next one isn't going to be 2D. If that makes sense.
Take a guess down below. I would love to know what you guys think. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know down below. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next after the green series, also let me know down let me know down below. And I hope to make more spooky stuff by the end of October. So yeah, stay tuned. Please subscribe and like this video and comment below. Alright with your bad self. I'll see you later. Get creative today. Okay, bye.